Where's your, where's your black roll? Where's your black roll? How's it going, man? Yeah. Because she has not eaten and chilling for a couple of hours before this. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what's your rap name? Probably just Richard Blackwell. Like, I might change the I to a Y. I don't know. Richard. Yeah, just well, cause like you know how Y makes the I sound like ye, like ye. Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I don't know. I might change the shit. Personally, I do like Black Royal. I talked to someone. I even talked to someone today at work, and they said Black Royal was a dope rap name. Just letting you know that right now. I just showed him a couple of your songs. He's listening to them. I just, I don't want to be attached to that, like, uh, Black Lives Matter kind of thing. Putting Black Royal on my name, like, I'm pretty neutral, so. I don't know, that'd be something I think about. If anything, I want something way off that, like, not even close to my name. Kind of like. Shit, I don't even know. Like, what's Six Nine's name? Like his real name? Like Daniel or some shit? Like I want something like way off like Six Nine. You'll never guess like, that nigga's name is Daniel. Six, nine, yeah, you'll, go to Daniel Gomez yeah. or whatever. You'll never is. guess that that's that nigga's name, so I feel you, I feel you. So you almost want it to be like the niggas don't know your real name. Mm hmm Yeah, like when they call like when they when I when I pop up actually I want them to be like So like you know like people that know you in mm -hmm. real life are gonna call you by your yeah. real shit and just some people that just know you off your rap shit are gonna call you your rap name. I might do a child is can be no kind of thing where like what's his real name? D Donald Glover. Yeah, like I might do something like that where it's kinda like depending on what I do, like in in the business, people will call me by Don like Donald, by Richard. And if I'm rapping, like they're talking about rap, that's not good. So does that mean you have plans to do more than just rap? Maybe once you blow up on the rap scene, maybe get into the... Yeah, most definitely. Like, I don't know. Like a full-fledged movie or just like some commercials or... I don't know about a movie, because so I don't want that to take away from like me just rapping in general. But like, I don't know. We just, all right, we probably have to see where that'll take me. I don't know, to be honest. I feel you. So, uh, you have two. <laughs> Look at that ashtray, son. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit, son. Oh, I looked over and this shit was long as longer than a cigarette, nigga. Honestly, I can't believe we're doing like a real interview. This feels like a real interview right now. Like, so I've seen you got two, three songs on YouTube right now. Zero plays. Does that get no love on YouTube? But like, I mean, yeah, I do. Like, I mean, if you search me up, it's my name that pops up. So I said it's pretty easy to find me. Like for real, for real. If I tell someone, just go look, look up Richard Blackwell on YouTube. So. But zero plays. I don't have. I have zero clout. Like as of right now, I'm probably like the bottom tier of fucking SoundCloud rappers. Like I get like a hundred plays on SoundCloud. I fucking hate SoundCloud. Then you get this shit on iTunes or something. I don't know. Do you have any collabs with anybody? I would collab with this dude named Yo. I guess he. I seen this one thing, this one show on the internet talking about he's like the best rapper out there in Wyoming. And so like I had to get a song with him. And he's like, he's pretty cool. Like, and I think he killed that shit too. And the song's called The Shit. But like, it's not good enough. You know what I mean? Make sure I heard nobody's feelings like Y.O. But it's just not good enough. And I think I got a, oh, I got a collab with Brandon Rivera. That song is fucking tight. That's actually on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I heard that one. That shit's on YouTube. It's called whatever. That shit's, that shit's tight. I fuck with that one. Other than that, like, music's been slow. Everybody else will be out of interviews and shit. They specifically rap. That's all they do is just rap. You know how it goes. We got we work five days a week. Shit, you work six. You work six days a week. I work five, so that's why we doing this shit at three o'clock in the morning. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> get off at twelve. So. Late nights. 
That's all we got. Hell yeah, yeah, that's my mod, by the way. That she just picked up. So are you just uh, using producers from like that you know, or have you put any money into this, or? I have put zero money into anything that I've ever made. And like, it's not just because I've been broke. I mean, I got money, it's just, I got a lot of shit and responsibilities and shit. And I can't be, I mean, you gotta spend money to make money. So I don't, it's just, it's, it's a process, you know what I mean? Cause I feel like a lot of rappers come up with drug money, you know, that's all like, they got all this extra money and they live with mom, they live with mom and shit or like, they don't have to pay for nothing, so. They got all this drug money and they can spend it on these fucking producers and these cameras and shit. And I'm just waiting for the right time. I think summer, summer 2018 should be, should be some, some dope videos coming out summer 2018. So, videos, more music. I need a fucking mixtape or an album or something. My producer, um, Owen, Owen Soto, who just be the case. Fucking, um, Shout out to my man's own. Yo, oh so 200. He, uh, shit, we should be getting into production soon. I've like, actually recorded this song with Owen as well. Yeah, he, I honestly heard that shit too for the first song. I was, it was better than my first song. I'll tell you that much. I don't even remember my first song recorded, but when I first heard that, I was like, he seemed pretty warm built. I haven't heard that in a minute though. Same. No, I don't have that <laughs> on your phone. I can find him in my Gmail though. But like, I just need to get more shit out so people hear me. Cause right now this interview is pretty irrelevant. <laughs> See, at this in. point right now, I can definitely respect getting your shit recorded with Owen and shit. But like, once you are ready to blow up, you do need to fucking get some good producing, some professional producers. Yeah, I do. Put some money into it. Get it to sound exactly how it should, how you want it to. Like I said before, you gotta spend money and make money. Like. Nobody's truly invested in you for free. You know what I mean? Like, like I got producers that, that they they record for me and shit. I got record with them and shit. But it's like they're not getting no money. There's no incentive for them to go hard or go home. They just like it's almost just like practice. For yeah, them, it is. And it's, I, it's like practice for me too. But at the same time, I need to be able to spend that money so that like. When you spend money, I feel like producers is like, all right, this guy is pretty serious and shit. And being able to like produce with somebody that has some act, not saying that they don't have background, but like people that have been doing this and know what to put in songs and know how to synthesize and all that shit. Like. And see, I know I've written my fair share of raps and I know that there's a way that it sounds in your mm -hmm. head compared to the way it sounds when it comes out. And yeah, exactly. I feel like when you pay for that type of shit, you, you, they get it to where it sounds like it, it does. And then I be doing shit for free. So sometimes like, I don't want to like be, I don't want to be bugging, like telling them like, yo, I, I need this and this song. Like, I need this to drop, I need the beat drops right here. When you're paying for it, you almost like the boss. Like you can be like, this is what I want. It's like. So I remember watching Tupac record and he got fucking, he, he was mad as fuck cause like they didn't, they they didn't like clear his voice enough. They tried to like put some extra shit in it and he was getting paid to do it and they were paying the producer. So he had the, like the power to be like, yo, fuck that. I want this and this shit. And if you don't start fucking around, like I need to be able to have that leverage right now. It's kind of just like, I'm it's recording like some shit. and just letting him yeah. do what he feels like she's That's done. exactly how it is. And it's like, I'm not knocking anybody's skill or like how they produce. It's just that like, I can't be over eager when they're doing it for free. It's like, they already got their hand out. I don't want to fucking bite it any more than I already have. So That's how that shit's been going with music. So when you do blow up, what's your first plans? What are you first going to do when you first get that first check? I've always had it in my mind that like, I'm trying to move to LA and like bring my boys with me that can come with me, you know what I mean? Cause everybody got a life, so I can't bring everybody with me. And I don't want them like, I don't want them to feel bad. Yeah, I can't bring, society, yeah, right? I can't bring everybody with me, but you know what I mean? My niggas are gonna be set. Like I got some niggas that are very like insightful with like style and shit. So I would like uh, give them a little loan or some shits like like started like a clothing business and shit or 
whatever they oh, whatever like heart and soul yeah ex- okay. hell yeah exactly like hunter especially like heart and soul that has, that's upcoming and shit so oh, I would yeah. have to heart and soul is on the rise mm-hmm. hunter heart shout out hunter heart heart and soul he's yeah. got business cards that's a shoe man right there go ahead and get you some fucking retros nigga one through fucking 300 whatever the fuck they got anything you're willing to pay for he'll get it to you yes sir that's facts i've seen it but like you know what i mean so i helped him out with that and you know like Rashawn says he wants to go to school and shit and like if anybody ain't doing shit like they coming with me you know what i mean like i'm gonna have my entourage but i, I don't i've always felt like i'd never be a big flexor like i'm not finna flex because I just feel like when niggas didn't have shit and they come up and shit. I mean, people have, the, like, I mean, I understand when you flex because you never had it and now you have the opportunity to. So I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not humble or humble. I'm just saying that, like, I still want to be me. I feel like people don't stick to that shit. They say it, but they don't ever stick to it. So, like, I ain't never going to be flashy. Like I, like I told you before, I'd have a chain and a grill. Like, I've always wanted a grill. And that's it, like. I'd be on my J. Cole kind of shit instead of like. Like Chris Brown? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they they be iced the fuck out, nigga. They got glaciers, Antarctica on their fucking shoulders and shit. It's like, <laughs> they next to me getting <laughs> fucking sore. Right there, right there. Niggas be hurting, boy. Out. They be fucking performing in their shit, getting sweat in their chain. I would just be like real. real yeah, like, you just want some shit that don't turn your neck green. <laughs> <laughs> For real, like, <laughs> that's why I'm wearing chains now. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't buy no real jewelry now, so shit. Like, I feel just that's honestly, I would just be a real chill ass. Like, if I made it, I'd be real chill. I wouldn't. I'd still rap about the same shit, and I'm getting money now. So I, like, when I have been writing, I kept on incorporated. Like, fuck these broke niggas and shit. But I used to be a broke nigga. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I never forget about that. But, like. You know, I'll say that some shit like, you know, I used to be broke, but now I'm a hustle kind of thing, whatever. So. That's how that shit would be. So, LA is the, the, the spot, the destination. I mean, it's somewhere big with a lot of culture, like, because we're, we're pretty cultureless in Wyoming and Cheyenne, like. All the culture we get is what we see. Other other cultures. <laughs> like we we don't get a chance to like actually indulge. You. We go to Denver for a day, and like feel good about that. Like I want to be able to say like I'm tired of the bigger city. You know what I mean? Like right now I'm tired of the. I'm not even tired of the small town shit. It's just I'm ready for something different. It's time to like go big or go home, and it's a lot easier to like market when there's uh, like a hundred thousand people. people now, yeah. yeah, like. Right now, it's just people going to stick to what they listen to. I feel like Cheyenne's just full of, like, Cheyenne's full of biased listeners. Yeah, I mean, you hear stories all the time, then whether it's actors or rappers, they just move somewhere, you know what I mean? They just need to get out there and fucking... They move with no money, they pack their car up, and they're gone. Like, and then they just start grinding, trying to get some shit going. I don't want ISP, though, so that's just... I can't go nowhere, so that's why I've just been trying to, like, put out music and... But I've been attacking music because like I feel like I'm not gonna make it, so I've just been making what I want to hear. So like everybody else is so caught up in what everybody else want to hear, but I want to be that kind of rapper that like stays true to what who he is and like this is shit that he want to hear and what he want to listen. Cause who doesn't want to listen to themselves? So that's why I'm always like making music and just listening to myself before I actually even put it out and shit. Cause I mean you know I got a fucking gang of shit. It's just. That and I don't have the time to record. You waking up too fucking late. I feel you. But shit, man. Like, it's just starting to. It's, I just feel like. I mean, I've always heard stories about niggas making it at 30 and 25 and shit, but like, I feel like I'm already 20. I'm about to be 21. We're about to be 21, and it's just like. Just gotta get moving. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have nothing but time, but time is not promised. Yeah, sure ain't. It's not promised at all. So, I be, I be thinking about that shit heavy. But that's the first. That's the first process of like an action is the thought. 
You gotta like be evasive. Like, you gotta yeah. actually take it and shit. Like, <sighs> like there's so much shit I want to spend money on, but in real life, I need to spend money on music. <laughs> like, it's risky as fuck because you know people it might blow up and people might not like it. But it's, I don't even fucking know. That shit's that's the tough part about it, for real. Is the riskiness of it, like spending money on a fucking spend a thousand bucks on a video and then only get a thousand plays. Like that shit's gonna fucking I'm gonna be mad as fuck. I'm gonna be so imagine that spending like nine hundred bucks on a video and then like Yeah, that would be tragic for sure. But that's when it gets to the point where you just gotta start marketing your shit, start sending it to just look some shit up, some producers mm-hmm. or whatever and just I mean hitting up out. fucking rappers all the time on Instagram and Twitter, <laughs> like all the I mean, See, you, you don't you don't message the rapper, message their fucking producer or like their manager or whatever. Mm-hmm. Cause they ain't gonna put you on their manager is what's gonna make the money off you. You know what I mean? Like, we, need, we, we just need to move, get the fuck out of here. <coughs> like, Cheyenne's not a bad place, but what we're but what we're trying to do, like for what we're trying to do, it's just not. If we were country singers and maybe <laughs> like we'd get some fucking play, but. And I've, I've seen it time and time again. Like, the biggest anybody's gonna get staying in Wyoming is YO. You know what I'm like? He's just a local rapper. Yeah, he's, he's not even a region rapper. He's a fucking local as far as south as he don't get his Fort Collins. Like, I'm trying to come from Cheyenne and hit Denver, and then from Denver to fucking Salt Lake, Salt Lake to LA. Like, shit gotta get fucking popping. I don't I don't market that good or that much, so people aren't even listening. But the only people that listen is people that show. And honestly, I don't think anything I put out is that good. Because if it was, then the people that show would show people, and they would show people, and then it was like. But at the same time, it's on SoundCloud. I feel like only like fifty percent of people that have a fucking cell phone have SoundCloud. I don't have a SoundCloud. I would not have SoundCloud if I did music to put music on. I'm so tired of telling people, like, yo, I'm on SoundCloud. Like, that shit's fucking <laughs> whack. Like, Who ain't? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I, I swear, I'm like, I'm probably gonna make a tweet. Like, everybody's been a SoundCloud rapper for at least a week or two. Like, <laughs> niggas love SoundCloud, but they feel like, yo, I'm gonna put this shit on SoundCloud. Like, nigga, you record it off your phone. For real. I'm like, I don't wanna hear that shit, bro. And, like, I don't be hating on any. I mean, I do inside, but I never let that shit show. Like, I always show mad love, because. Especially niggas would be doing more than I. But at the same time, I don't know if they broke, but they still stay at their mama house not fucking doing shit. You know what I mean? Smoking weed, making music. Like, it's tough trying to balance, like, balance responsibilities with fucking motivation for other shit. Like, I don't even have the time to be motivated. To, I write every day, but making a song takes a whole day. I don't have a whole day. Make a hit song takes two, takes, three. It takes a while, like. Because you get that bass song down one day, then you gotta go back and fucking peer at it, just whatever yeah, you know what I mean. Just, just check it out, fix it, fix the flow, fix whatever. It's a lot. It's a lot. But, like. Shit, it's hard, bro. I don't know if we should wrap this up or not. Let's do a quick little fucking. Probably been like ten minutes. I don't know. I mean, this is the first interview I've ever fucking done. It's pretty first interview I've ever gave. It doesn't feel. I mean, it feels pretty. Feels real. <laughs> it's off top too. I mean, it is off top. No script or anything. Nothing. We covered the covered the basis about like this. Is some shit we can look back on. Yeah, you know, you remember you said you never get that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that. We were about to say, I ain't gonna switch up. I'll be like, we go have this video. So we go have to refer back to this shit. I'm gonna be mad as fuck when a nigga pop me on this shit. I get a fast Cuban lean. <laughs> Bro, didn't you say you got a pinky ring on and shit? <laughs> fuck. That shit's. I hope something comes back. You already nice. know you're gonna get some nice earrings, though, don't lie. Oh, yeah. This is the only real earring I got. Fucking carrot or I don't think you measure golden carrots. It's twelve something. It is carrots. Yeah, it's twelve carrot. And it's little as fuck. All this other shit is fucking cubits whack. Cubits are coming in. Yeah. Fuck all that shit. 
And I, this nose ring, it was fucking, had white paint on it. And I fucking took that shit off so it looked silver in there. Like, Damn, I did not know. <sighs> Man, it's the same fucking nose ring I've been rocking since October. And we're in February. So. Actually, no, I put a fucking earring in my nose when I first pierced it. Because it was a small earring, so I thought it would look good. But I guess putting the earring in your nose makes an earring, like a small earring, look big as fuck. You pop out and shit. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, I was definitely on my Tupac shit. So I was like, Tupac. But I get a lot of compliments on my nose ring. I would definitely get tattoos on my face. Not overwhelming, but like. Mm-hmm. You know, like some shit around the side, like the sideburn, the side, uh, sideburn, and fucking maybe above the eyebrow or some shit. Like, not like, Lil well, Wayne got a lot of facial tattoos, but like. I swear, like, he changes sometimes too, just because <laughs> how much shit he just be adding to me. Mm-hmm. Like, Lil Wayne's the goat. Lil Wayne yeah, is the fucking goat. Time. Like, Let that be known. nobody will ever surpass him. Like, I just feel like he's the most untouchable rapper of all time. And we'll remain that until, like, he has a kid that is a fucking prodigal son or some shit. Like, <laughs> the only way anybody's gonna be better than Wayne is genetics. They gotta be born from his bloodline. And they gotta fucking just be raised listening to his music just to fucking know how a good rap can be. Like, I don't, I mean, people be talking about how Lil Wayne is not, like, this bitch at work the other day, it was like, I can't listen to his voice. His voice. Like, mm-hmm. bitch, what are you, come on, bro. Is that what rap's about? Like, I, I got this line from Coach Schaefer. He was like, uh, it's not about what I say. Or it's not about how I say it. It's about what I say. It. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Wayne be saying some crazy shit. I still got division, like the line between two dots. Like that's, and that's just scratching the fucking tip of the surface. Dude got all kind mm-hmm. of, oh my. I was just listening to some shit I ain't ever heard today, boy. And it blew my mind. I'm trying to think what he said, but I can't. That's what's great about Wayne. Like, you can hit, Wayne... You, this he has so many fucking songs that you can play all his songs you'll and never, hear some new shit. You'll like, never even hear if Wayne dies today, like if Wayne dies today, I would still probably hear like fifty new songs. You know what I mean? Like probably more because yeah, his old shit. Like dude, he niggas. Dude, he's a grind, nigga. Bro. He is the king of mixtapes. Like I can't stress it enough. If I ever got the chance to meet Wayne, he would know <laughs> undoubtedly that. He's the greatest to ever fucking do it, cause I wasn't. At the end of, uh, I'm pretty sure it's on Dedication Three at the one of the preludes or the end of his songs. He's like, the difference between me and these people is I wasn't necessarily better than him, but I'm different just because maybe getting money and going out to the clubs. And he's like, if I'm in the club, I'm getting paid to be in the club. And he's mm. like. And he said something, he was like, and you you guys uh, make music as a job. He said, you guys get in the studio, you think it's a job. Me, I get in the studio, I stay, I live in the studio. That's my life. Mm-hmm. That's, boy, that's where I'm trying to be at. And I feel like a lot of rappers treat this shit like a job. Like rapping. And just get in there, fucking put in some hours, nine to five, get, get some shit out of it, and go have fun. My, I feel like right now, like rapping is in my life, but I rap every day. Like, I mean, like if you had the opportunity, it would be your life. Yeah, it, hell yeah. Like, I will have a bed in my studio. Like, I will wake up. It would be imagine, bro. Imagine, nigga, like just being able to like wake up and record. I don't have that fucking luxury. Like, imagine that shit would be fucking. Some dope pops in your head. You yeah, it. some dope pops in my head now. I gotta write it down and wait a week so I can actually record. And I haven't recorded it in like I haven't recorded since John's. Like, it's fuck. a good month or a couple months. Mm-hmm. Like fuck, that's been can't be like that. But shit, I mean, I guess we can wrap this up. You know, y'all need to. Y'all need to uh, stay tuned. Shout out to Corey Anderson for doing the interview. C Swisher. Shout out to all my boys, just too many to fucking mention, but y'all know I'm just kidding. Alright, thanks for the interview, my brother. Yep. Nothing but luck to you. Always. Always. <laughs> this shit was
though, real as fuck. <laughs> Yo, should I put a complex on top? Like, no. <laughs>